Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. This is Cindy. <laughs> How is everyone doing? Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? This Sunday early evening. I am Cindy from CC Cindy's Creations with Chuck Couture. I hope you were having a good Sunday. You're still trying to adjust to the time change. I've been tired. I know it's only an hour, but for some reason, the time change just messes me up. <laughs> How about you guys? <laughs> So anyways, I am coming at you wanting to create something with one of the new transfers that I got in. So I wanted to do this, the one that's um, called procrastinating. I think we kind of uh, all do a little bit of that, a little bit. <laughs> so anyways, um, like I said, I'm Cindy with CC's, Cindy's Creations. I want to put up some information for you so that you can first learn about what Chalk Couture is. And so let's share that information now. Okay, I think you have had enough time to read that. What Chalk Couture is, we're designers, divas, and believers. Uh, we are creating um, lots of different DIY projects for your home or to create as a gift. What we do is we use reusable silkscreen transfers and we peel them from the backing, we stick it to a surface, and we either apply paste or ink, uh, and it's going to, it's a paste that's gonna go on wet and it dries hard, and you will be amazed at the end result of your amazing creation that you will have. So, let's, let's try to get this all started. Hello everyone, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> All right, here is the new silk screen transfer. It says, don't bother me, I'm procrastinating. I thought this was really cute. Thought it would be great to have here in my craft room at home. So just wanted to share this with you. Now it's, it hopefully won't take too long, but um, I did see another designer using this and I really liked her idea of creating with applying some paste and then lifting it up because I can see where if you use this you'll be afraid to um, hurry quickly or making it all one color and I kind of want to make it colorful so we'll see how it goes so it's actually applying the paste and then lifting it and then laying it back down so let's see how it goes if not you know it's paste so we'll be able to wash it off and start all over again all right, so the colors I'm using is teal, and this is the new guava, and I just got this one in. This is the raspberry sorbet, and silver, and custard. And of course, those of you that have followed me, I am going to make one of those buttons red. So I have to make something red. I don't know, maybe I could even do the brush red if I wanted to instead. Anyways, um, please do say hello as you come in. I would appreciate that. Let me know that you're here. Also, bottom left-hand corner of your mobile device is a share button. I would appreciate it if you would share the video. Let your friends know that I am here to show you how to create um, beautiful little creations for your home or to give away as a gift. So sharing is caring, so please do share. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. 
This is the silk screen transfer. Let me pull this back for you so that you can see what a silk screen is. Shut that up here to the camera for you. You'll see that this is the silk screen area. You can see where my finger is going across there. And so that is the silk screen. We're going to be applying the paste to that and it will go in on evenly and hopefully we'll have a beautiful result when we put this on this board. We are using the Boutique 9x12 board. It has the black frame and I am excited to let you guys know that at my online store, all of the frames are available. They are all in stock. So if you need to go to my website, it is, I'll make sure that I put it up here for you guys to see it. It's at the top there. So if you would like um, any of the products that I'm using today, you'll be able to find that at my online store. Or if you want to be included in my VIP group, and sometimes we have some specials, and we'll talk about that later, but you want to be in my VIP group. All right, so all I'm doing off to the side here, or I'll bring it over here so that you guys can see, I am just putting this on a towel, and this is what we call fuzzing the transfer. And what you're doing with fuzzing, since this is a brand new transfer, you are going to want to fuzz this because it is really super, super sticky. So we're just wanting to make sure that it's not that sticky, okay? So fuzzing it is just picking up a little bit of lint from this towel and getting just some of it to pick up. All right, I'm just going to take that, move my towel out of the way, take my transfer. Hi Jean, how are you? All right, so we're just going to center this onto the board. I'm just going to eyeball it. I have OCD friends that would definitely need to have it measured and all that. I am not like that. It's going to be okay for me. I'm all right with that. Also, when you are applying it to the board, you do want to make sure that you check the back of your board to make sure that um, you have the sawtooth up at the top or on the side, wh whatever way you're going to hang your project if that's what you're going to do. Make sure you feel for it because I've done it. I've done it before, all right? So I know that my silver is brand new, so I do want to open this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use one of my old stir sticks before we got our ours in and I'm just going to cut or kind of press around here pull this off so hopefully I won't get too much ink or that's not really ink it is paste but I'm telling you this silver paste really to me reminds me more of our ink because it is a lot thinner I don't know if it's just this silver that is like that or what it is but anyways I'm opening that up let me get my trash can over here you don't need to get paste all over everything which I have it all over my hands but that's okay, it will wash. How is everyone's Sunday? I'm telling you, one hour to me makes a difference. <laughs> All right. Hi, Julie. All right, so we've got the silver open. So as I open this, I can stir this up. I love the new consistency of this paste. 
has a very nice, nice, nice consistency. You're going to want your paste to be a yogurt-like cake batter, so I'm going to leave that there. What I'm wanting to use on my silver, looking at my hands to make sure that before I start messing with my shirt or anything. Anyways, I'm going to be putting silver in certain areas. I'm going to pull up and then we're going to lay it back down. So we're going to be doing this throughout. If you guys have any questions, please leave me a comment and I will be sure to answer them as quickly as possible. All right. So let's go ahead and get started because I don't know how long this will take and I'm hoping that it's not going to take too long. All right. So what I'm going to do silver here is I'm going to do the scissors and the safety pins in silver. All right. So that's what we will do. The silver seems to go on differently. I don't know. Kind of seems kind of gritty in a way. This is a new paste. This just came out in February, so that's why I'm saying it's it's just got a different feel to it. I believe it does have little pieces of um, metal in it, which I think is kind of that's different, but to give it that to give it that shimmer look. I don't know. It just sounds gritty and it feels, if you guys are hearing it, it, it feels like that. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it to you. All right. So just making sure that I'm up close here. All right. So I saw, like I said, I saw this from another designer and she applied her paste and then she pulled it up. So I'm going to try this and see how this works. Because of it having so many different colors, we'll pull it up and then I will set it back down. Just so that it doesn't dry too quickly. That's all. We're just making sure. Thanks, Jean. All right, so drying this quickly. Make sure that if you're drying it like this, either with your blow dryer, you just be careful and do not put it up against your transfer because it will shrink your transfer. So... Oh, see, the silver does take a little bit longer to dry also. So look there. I just did that. Learn from me, you guys. <laughs> That's right. The silver does take a little longer to dry. So we need to redo that. Let's try this some more. Stuck my finger right in it. <laughs> From me. Yes, I do, Jean. All right. So the silver does take a little bit longer to dry. It's not going to dry as quickly as the other kind of paste. I'm not sure the reason for it but it does dry a little, it does take a little longer to dry. All right, so all I'm going to do is lay this back down, okay? Easily lay it back down, right? Because really all I'm needing is in here and through here, okay? See, I got a little bit of my paste here, but thankfully 
it will wash right off. Don't have to worry about that. Right, so now what I'm going to do is, sure, Jean, just to let me know how many and I'll make sure that I bring it. Okay, so what I'm going to do with the handle, what color I want to do on the handle is this, um, I'm going to use this guava. Okay, so just open this up and make sure that you give it a good stir. Make sure that it has a yogurt-like consistency. Yogurt, cake batter, <laughs> whatever food you like. All right, so I'm just going to um, do this in the handle and a couple of the buttons. All right, so here we go. All right, and then I'm just going to do this button. Maybe one over here. All right, scrape off any excess, put that back in there. And again, we're going to pull up because we're doing lots of colors here, so we're just wanting to be careful to not let it dry. Here we go. Okay, so this other face will dry quickly. Yay, that's a pretty color. I like that color. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to make sure that my board isn't too hot. I'm going to lay this back down. Lay it back down. Now what I'm going to be working on is the spool here of thread and the wording. I think I am going to do all of that in the teal. Thought we'd put some chalk couture color in there. Again, opening up. This is Thai teal. This is something that is no longer available, but we do have another teal that's very similar. Okay, so we just stir this up. Just making sure that we've got a good consistency to this. Let's put another squirt in this. But you. Right. Right, here we go. Now, getting this squeegee, and we're like I said, we're going to be doing, I don't know, maybe I will do just the don't and the spool. Maybe that's what I'll do. Because I got to get all the colors in there. All right, so we're going to do this. Just follow this little, these are the, this is the thread. So we'll just follow this up here. Again, this is taking just a little bit more time, but I think it's going to, it will have very pretty results. Okay. 
Okay. Looks pretty. Okay. Pull this up again. That looks so pretty. <laughs> I like it. This takes a little bit of time, but I think you'll be happy with your end result once you once you do it. So what do you guys think so far? Let's try just making sure that I get the temperature back to normal temperature before I lay that back down. Okay. Now we're going to lay this down. I'm going to make sure that I get the bother me and I'm all in there. Okay. There we go. And all we're doing is just pretty much laying that up on top since we've already got the paste in there. All right. So now what I want to do is... Looks like I need to open up this. Uh, this is the raspberry. And I'm going to do the I'm procrastinating in this, this raspberry. This is kind of messy. Opening, trying to open that up. I've got paste all over on the top. I gotta scrape that off. Probably should have opened that up before I went live. Sorry guys. <laughs> that way you don't see all the mess. All right, let's wipe this off. All right, so now when you get your first paste, your new paste, you're going to want to make sure that you stir it up. Pretty color. Reminds me a lot of the wild berry, but lighter. Okay. Grab another wipe. Yeah, I think it looks cute too, Jean. All right, here we go. Using the raspberry sorbet. Here we go with. So this is how you can do it with several colors. That way you don't have to worry about it drying too quickly. You can just put the paste on, lift it up. And you will have beautiful results. What do you guys think so far? Really not taking that long. A lot better, going a lot better than I thought. Didn't want to scare everyone with so much different colors and applying it on and lifting it off. I know to me that would kind of seem like a lot of work, but Honestly, it's not that bad. So let's pull this up again. Okay, let's lay that down. I don't know if I've seen the B. Let's put a little bit more paste on that. There we go. It's a little better. That could just be the color because it's kind of dark. Can you guys see that okay? Let's move this up so that you can see. All right, let's dry this.
looks good. Just gonna wanna make sure, like I said, keep the heat away from your transfer. Just making sure before I lay that down. Best thing is just to make sure that you let it dry. Very cute. I like it. Like it, like it, like it. <laughs> all right, lay this back down. So all we need to do are these little, I need to do that pin again. And I'm going to be doing, sticking my finger in the paste, but I'm going to be doing these little buttons. And then I will be doing the brush. All right, so let's stir up my red. I'm gonna do that quick. And then we're going to do a couple of the buttons in this custard. Again, we're just stirring this up. All right. So what I'm going to do is create this button over here to be red. Got to get my red in there somewhere. All right. Get the red in, then I'm going to do some of the custard. Now let's try, let's try doing this silver again. This other pin. Remember I stuck my finger right into it. All right, now let's pull this up. Cute, you guys, that's so cute. <laughs> Come out to you. Hi, Effie. That is too cute. Now we know that silver takes a little longer to dry. So, hopefully, I can get that dry good enough so that I don't mess it up again. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab a different thing of paste to hold this up. And while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to close up these other colors that I'm not going to be using. Wait, I'm going to use that. I'm going to put away my silver because we still have the, the brush to do. So what do you guys think? <laughs> if you like it, give it a thumbs up or a heart. Let me know what you think. Do share the video. I would appreciate it if you would share. Sharing is caring, remember. I think this would also, um, the way they show this even in the catalog is on an apron or it would even be cute on a shirt I'm still wanting to try to get together with a class on creating either the aprons or shirts um, if you have interest below let me know um, tell me what you would be interested in either t-shirt or an apron just comment t-shirt apron and I'll make sure that I let you know when I am going to do that class. I do want to get these things scheduled so that we can get these things going because I know a lot of people like to create different things like that. All right, so I'm going to lay this down. I think that hopefully will be dry enough. 
it's just going to lay on top anyways. All right. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to make the brush teal and then we'll do the tip of it, the custard. This is really cute. I like how it's coming out. Thought I would come live earlier today because I have lots of things that I still need to do this evening. So I wanted to come on earlier. Plus, hopefully, we all go to bed early to try to regain the hour that we lost. <laughs> try to get some sleep. I have difficulties sleeping on Sunday nights anyways. I have no idea why, but I do. All right, here we go. Very cute. I really, really like that. <laughs> Easily amused. <laughs> Very cute. Show you here in just a second. Tell me what you guys think. Leave me a comment. If you come back in on the replay, do hashtag replay. Let me know that you were here. All right. Looks like I got a little bit of the paste up here. We'll wipe that off. That's not a problem. Wash that off. All right. Now let's dry this. Make sure that I have everything dry. I like how it came out. Now I do classes on these, you guys, so I can show you how we do this. I'm work with you. Very, very cute. Like how it came out. What do you guys think? It's very cute. I like it. Like it, I like it a lot. Yeah, gee, that made me, when I seen somebody else doing it too, I thought, okay, I need to get this transfer and so that I can try it out because I've seen lots of people doing different things with it and I said, gotta be mine, gotta be mine. All right, so that is what I have for you. Well, let's see, let's get you back here to me. Maybe. we go hello 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 all right here we go Maybe you can see it better up close doesn't that look cute I really like how that came out very cute so I can have that here in my room very cute so like I said everything that you see here um, I'm happy to let you know that it is in stock in at my online store, which you can see right above me, right there it is. So <laughs> you will be able to go to my website and order this transfer if you would like. But I do want to let you know that we are doing different um, little um, bundle sales that I would have in my VIP group. So this is to non-designers only only to available to my customers. You could um, comment below VIP and I will make sure that I get you into my VIP group to let you know about the special deals and um, prices or bundles that I may have going on for the month. So comment VIP. If you saw what I did and just said that you would like to, thought to yourself, I would like to do that and maybe make a little bit of money on the side or 
maybe you just like crafting and you want to create things for family and friends as gifts and uh, just creating for yourself decorating your home um, comment join and I will make sure that I get information to you and also put you into the opportunity group so that you can ask questions there or just look around and see what Chalk Couture is all about and what it has to offer you. So if you would also like to get some of your friends together and have a little party with doing the chalk, I would love to be your designer and help you out with that. Comment class below and I'll make sure that I get you the information on having your own class. That is pretty much what I have for you this evening. I would like to let you know about the um, Club Couture that we have. Let's see if I can get this up off of here. There is a Club Couture that we have that we offer to everyone. It is where you would get a monthly subscription and you would get an exclusive B-size transfer that is sent to you right to your door so you don't have to worry about where you need to get this. But it is free shipping. You're also going to get three paste singles and you'll get emailed a how-to video on everything, how to create it, and different instructions even if you wanted to print it off. So if you would like to be in the Club Couture, you can go to my website as it's listed above there. Go to my website or click on shop now on my Facebook page and it will take you right there and at the top you will see Club Couture and you'll click on that and you will have the opportunity to join the club. This is exclusive, like I said, exclusive to club members only. These transfers will not be sold on the website or anywhere else so it's exclusive to you only to the members and designers. So you don't want to miss out on being involved with the Club Couture. So, that is what I have for you this evening. I hope you had a good time. Thanks for coming in. Just letting me know that you're here. Um, do say hello, replay, hashtag replay if you're coming in. Do share the video. I would appreciate that. That is all I have for you this evening, you guys. I hope you have a great night. I hope you liked this. It was very cute. I liked creating it. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you have a great night. And remember, get creative.